comes up once every 50 years. So when things go out of whack, when that jubilee, when that when that year of release come up, or that jubilee come up, all those all those uh, 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 debts are free. You're free from your debt. So you start back with a clean slate. So that's why you have all this turmoil. Because they're, they're not following the Bible. Why? But what does it say? That they're going to blaspheme the Most High's name. They're not following the examples of the scriptures. And eventually, these European nations, Germany, France, all of them, they're going to shoot missiles on this bitch right here. Go ahead. It says, I beheld, and the same horn made war with the saints and prevailed against them. Until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the saints. Right, because the ancient, day, the ancient of days is going to come in this time. So we know that's not talking about the ancient Romans. It said that they made war with the saints. When did that start? That start during the period of uh, the uh, Renaissance, the rebirth. Why they called the rebirth? Because at one time they were in power. They knew their history that they were in power. They died and they were reborn again. That's why they called the re Renaissance to take down all the dark images and put up images of themselves to take down the dark, the dark, the, the jakes that's sitting on uh, thrones and put themselves on thrones. So right there, if you're reborn, that means you had to be dead. Go ahead. It says, until the ancient of days came and judgment was given to the... So this is getting ready to happen. Go ahead. And judgment was given to the saints of the Most High. Who are the saints of the Most High? The Israelites. It didn't say the saints and some of the Edomites and a couple of uh, uh, Elamites and a, a handful of Hamites. And a, and, a, and a smidgen of Ishmaelites. It didn't say that. So these, and a side order, a side order of uh, Japhites. So these clowns out here that's teaching this madness, you want to listen to them? Go ahead and listen to them, man. Go ahead and listen to False Prophet 666, which Karamiah, y'all know him as a killer priest, he went out there and they were all on, all on his jock. They were hanging off his jock strap, man. You know, they thought that was the most God Almighty that came down. So they, this is, yeah, I'm with my man, a killer priest. Hey, how's it, brother? What you doing? And they, the first thing that came out of their mouth, what about GMS? You got anything to say about GMS? And what did Carl Myers say? What did killer priest say? You remember what he said, brother? Yeah, he, said, he said, nah, I ain't got nothing to say about them brothers. Them brothers are deep in the knowledge. I ain't going to say nothing about them. Okay, now, since he said that, you wanted to hear, you wanted to hear what he had to say. You wanted, you wanted a words of wisdom to go by, right? So you asked about GMS. He gave you his take on GMS. He said these guys were deep men. So now, are you gonna follow us now? Cause Killer Priest said so. <laughs> Cause that was a great Killer Priest. All right. Y'all just knew he was gonna say something negative, man. You saw that video with Adi Ali. The, the 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 retarded monk, all right, uh, Mr. Goodberger himself, and you figured you you saw you saw a car mile kill the priest with them, and you figured that well, we know we gonna they gonna he gonna have something negative to say about GMS. Well, you got it on your own video. You put it up on YouTube. So you gonna uh, you better start following. You better start watching our videos, man, and you better start sending your tights in. All right? And you better come up under the order. And you better put GMS on your videos. You better GMS West California, whatever the hell you uh, uh, dwell. All right? <laughs> Go ahead. It says, and the time came that the saints possessed the kingdom. Thus he the saints are the Israelites. If you go to Revelation 7 chapter, read about the 144,000 and the multitude behind them. That's the kingdom. And all of the multitude behind them, those are the Israelites. Those are our people. Ain't nobody going. Ain't nobody going to mingle himself. It tells you in uh, Amos was in Amos in ninth chapter that the Most High going to sift sift the nation of Israel. So he's going to get out all things that offend. Right. Who offends? Esau number one and the rest of them nations. Go ahead. It says this. Like I'm gonna hit you with something. Even my dog knows that them other nations are not right. When I walk my dog, 
and sees Jake. And it'll walk by Jake. As soon as you see a hamite or eat a mite, it tries to bite the shit out of the hamite. Even my woman said that. For some reason, he, they always going after Africans. Because <laughs> there's not too many white people around there. For some reason, they always going after. I, and I said, yeah, because they, they don't have the spirit of Israel on them. <laughs> Go ahead. Funky fly spirit. It says, thus he said, <laughs> thus he said, the fourth beast shall be the fourth kingdom upon earth, which shall be diverse from all kingdoms and shall devour the whole earth. The Romans, the Romans never devoured the whole earth. It was uh, NATO, the EU, led by America. Why do you think they're over there in the Middle East and now they're going into Northern Africa? They want to totally have control of the entire planet Earth. Go ahead. It says, and shall tread it down and break it in pieces. And the ten horns out of this kingdom are ten kings that shall arise, and another shall rise after them, and he shall be diverse from the first, and he shall subdue three kings. And he shall speak... The, the, the three kings represent um, the Spanish, the French, and the British. The Americans uh, had uh, the Revolutionary War against Great Britain or England, the uh, Spanish-American War, and the French-American War. And then you had all those treaties, those broken treaties. You had those, per you had what was called a Louisiana Purchase, where you had purchased certain land. Like a Louisiana was owned by the French, and what happened was y'all y'all purchased the land from the uh, the French. That's why it's called the Lu Louisiana Purchase. Go ahead, because back then they bought lands. They're buying lands right now. Greece is going to sell. The only thing they're not going to sell is the uh, what is that called? A, 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 Atrop Atropolis? Uh, oh, metropolis? Not but the metropolis. It's Acropolis. I think it's the Acropolis, and there was something else. It's, it's the main place in Greece. Forgive me for not knowing off the top of my head, but I think it's the Acropolis. But they're going to sell damn near everything else in Greece to try to pay off that debt. Another thing y'all got to watch is uh, the financial news, whether it be CNBC or uh, Bloomberg, any of those uh, financial news stations. Go ahead. It says, and he, s he shall speak great words against the Most High and shall... That's what the, that's the, the meaning of that. Is the, if you want to put a word on that, what he just read is blasphemy. Go ahead. And shall wear out the saints of the Most High. And that's what they did, spiritually and physically. Go ahead. And think to change times... And laws. That's why they're passing, getting ready to pass the laws, getting ready to pass in New York, uh, gay marriage. That's one law among many others that you change. Go ahead. And there shall be given into his hand until the time, until the time and times and the dividing of times. But he, the judgment shall sit and they shall take away his dominion to consume and to destroy it until the end. And the kingdom and dominion and the greatness of the kingdom under the whole heaven shall be given to the people of the saints of the Most High, whose kingdom is an everlasting kingdom, and all dominion shall serve and obey him. Hitherto is the end of the matter. As oh, I said, all dominion shall uh, serve and obey, obey him, meaning obey the sons of the Most High. All right? Starting with Yahweh Shai and then us, with joint heirs, pursuant to Romans the 8th chapter. So all those other nations that we read about, the, the Persians, the Medes, the Babylonians, the Greeks, and all those other nations under them, our empire means you you a nation, a great nation that's over other nations. So it says all of them, they're going to serve us. We're going to have dominion over all of them. Now let's jump back to Revelation. Right, back to Revelation chapter 13, um, verse 6. I'm sorry, uh, verse 4. It says, And they worshipped the dragon which gave power unto the beast. And they worshipped the beast, saying, Who is able to make war with him? And there was given unto him a mouth speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth and... So the forty and two months adds up to three and a half years, which adds up to 350 years. So it's really focus, focusing on the uh, America. That's where the real focus is. That situation over there in Libya, that's really led by America, even though there's 
doing it jointly that's really led by America. Okay? Go ahead. Read that again. Yep. It says, And there was given unto him a mouth, speaking great things and blasphemies, and power was given unto him to continue forty and two months. And he opened his mouth in blasphemy against the Most High, to blaspheme his name and his tabernacle and them that dwell in heaven. Yeah, that's why you got, anytime you go to these churches, you got Edomite, uh, Edomite portrait of, uh, of uh, 